Welcome to Snowfield Hot Spring. Am I going the right way? Yo. Just let me know. Yo, yo, yo. I'll protect you all the time. Oh. Have a nice time in the hot spring. Hello, what's up, guys? What's up, what's up? <clears throat> oh. Blanc Noir Blanc and Noir Huge How many of you guys here still don't have Blanc and Noir? New Snow Break update Wait what? New Snow Break update? Yeah I saw it actually I mean I saw it on I saw it on my YouTube feed but I haven't I haven't watched it yet. 8-bit graphic minigame uh, No 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 I think this one is just her ultimate This one, right? Just let me know. I think that's just uh how she activates her ultimate. Uh, how she activates her her burst. I mean, right? Have noir but no blong yet. No blong brick. No noir and blong. Recently just got both of them. I think uh you should be able to pull now, right? Now that they have added red hood, uh we can do some extra pulls uh, as well later on. Uh, that's something to. To consider, but yeah, uh, Blanc Noir, uh, still one of the best. Tia Naga, I like I like Blanc and Noir more than Tia and Naga. Tia and Naga is good and, and stuff, but uh, I don't like having to use one more additional burst one personally, right? Also, yeah, what's up, what's up, man? Okay, so let's see. Imagine not having bunnies, yeah, imagine, right. Worry about getting lost. Hmm. I wonder how blonde one will look from from the back. Got lucky with uh, red hood, so she's MLB. That's good, right? But try not to like. Try not to. Um. What's the term? <laughs> Uh, try not to be too happy because if you get lucky at one time, you're gonna get unlucky at one time, right? That's my that's my. It's not it's not really me saying that you're showing off. You're allowed to show off, but it's just my personal experience is like if you get very lucky one streak, you will get unlucky as well, and you have to be okay with that. It's first viewer pool account Masaru, Masaru. Hmm. I still updating the case. Is the game still on maintenance? The game should still be on maintenance and it should be available to us in 20 minutes. 20 minutes. So that means we have time for one essay. One essay, guys. So what essay shall it be? I have to use 600 ticket on Red Hood. Red Hood, eh? It can go either way, you are saying, setting the expectations. A lot of people, when they get bad luck, they always quit the game. I noticed this, this is something like a... Uh, this is something that I, I noticed a lot of gacha players have. Uh, when they get unlucky, they quit the game. But they don't realize that they were lucky to begin with. Uh, it's not that they were unlucky. It's just... Yeah, it's like... Uh, you gotta average it out, right? <clears throat> so that's something to, to consider. Recovery from a very unlucky month. <coughs> Masaru SA. SA, SA, SA. And it's always very sad when I see that, right? It's like they got a good account and stuff and then they just quit. Because some of these people are like literally in my friends list. 
And they ask, yo, what happened? Oh, I quit. Uh, I got unlucky. And I'm like, okay. Like, nothing that you can do about it. It is what it is. It can go good. Just hang in there. Most people won't hang in there. Alright, time for one essay, alright? We can read one and one essay only. And this is my favorite essay, alright? This is my favorite essay. This essay will blow your mind. You guys ready? Huh. Are you guys ready for the biggest essay of your life? My luck never returned to me after summer. Maybe today is the time. Today is the time for you to one tap these characters. Today is the time for you to be able to be the killer. Today is the time. Yo, look at this. Black screen essay. Oh, I'm gonna show it. I'm gonna show it. This is my favorite title of all the time. Look at this. Gacha gaming just seems wrong. Okay? Do you guys know what this means? This means that it's wrong for you to play gacha games. Okay? So I'll be here reading this essay. We'll try to evaluate this as gacha gamers, as a pro gacha gamer that's been playing multiple gacha games throughout multiple the course of years. We're gonna try to evaluate this gacha. Okay? And understand where this guy is coming from. Alright. So, let's have a look. There's 118 comments right here. But nobody give him any upvotes. Sad. He wrote all this essay just to get zero upvotes. Can you guys believe this? Unacceptable. Okay. I think these games aren't bad at the basic principle. Okay, starting off good. I like it. I like it. He's starting off with the positive. He thinks that these games, they're not bad. I, I agree. They're not bad, right? A lot of you guys free to play, by the way. You can play for free, right? I define the genre by the visual novel RPG long-term account building with the main way being the random slot machines. Okay? So it has the potential to be relaxing and social. Relaxing, just like Nikkei, right? Relaxing. I like it. <laughs> it has the potential to be wholesome. Wholesome? Damn. In all the free content given out. Do you guys agree that it has the potential to be wholesome? $60 skin, wholesome. <laughs> but that's not what it's like in practice. Okay, okay, why? Why is that? They are extremely predatory and manipulative. Really? Are they predatory and manipulative though? Are they though? Because if you're free to play, by the way, how can they be predatory and manipulative? If you don't have a wallet, just don't have a credit card, then how can it be predatory and manipulative, right? So I don't think I think this is not accurate. I think this depends on uh, whether you're rich or not. <laughs> there are even manipulative to players who can't afford to spend anything anyways. Wait, how? They are manipulative to players who can't afford to spend anything anyways to increase player numbers and play time. The whole concept of a daily quest is poisonous since it makes playing video games into a job. So daily quest is poisonous. I like it, I like it. I like this term. Daily quest, when you do dailies, that's poisonous. Okay, the worst thing is these incentive systems actually discourage me from playing a game I like playing since I'll be poor in the game if I only do activities fun for me. Okay, okay. So the player has to be concerned about the limited time to do everything. True, true, if you play again, you don't like the dailies, you still gotta do the dailies, right? Uh, logging in only occasionally freely for fun isn't an option either, since it's no fun to be poor and grind in the game. So it's not fun to be poor and grind in the game. I'm gonna be real with you guys, I enjoy grinding. All right? That's why I, I actually don't mind it as much, right? Uh, there's a multitude of psychological tricks in these games, and one of them is causing the player pain for not having the rare elite characters and items. And even if the player spends a hearty amount of money, to buy into the game they love, such as the price of a full triple A game, they may get like merely one character. But that's all it takes. You just need one character. Okay? You just need one character. Hmm. <laughs> it's not fun playing the gameplay. 
I log into this subreddit for the first time after a hiatus, and some of the first posts I see on the hot are along the lines of I have an unhealthy mindset of min maxing in gacha games, and has anyone ever quit a game due to a bad luck streak? This is so much sadness and stress for something that should just be a hobby. Uh, yeah, but they're just writing essays as hobby as well, right? <laughs> I love anime games as much as the next person. My favorite is Genshin, Arknights, Nikkei, Honkai Star Rail, Blue Archive, and Reverse 1999. I have such good taste! These games can even teach you things sometimes. Oh, really? It can teach you things, okay? But I think I'll have to quit them all. All of them. And for those of you suggesting to not play many gacha games at once, I counter-argue that you should be able to. I have over 50 Steam games and some Nintendo games, and they are almost all on standby ready for me to play anytime I desire. No, you have to log in to collect this reward even though you don't intend to play. Or this content is on a limited time story, so if you like the protagonist of this event, you have to play it by the end of the week. The world of gaming isn't as corrupt outside of mobile games. I highly recommend anyone addicted to gacha games to buy an entry-level PC and join the Master Race, where we are free! Wow! TLDR, I argue that gacha games are too bad to be worth playing at all. And they are, they are, they are not real games like on PC and console. Damn! There's a lot of things to take in, man. There's a lot of things to take in. Hmm. <laughs> this guy is something else. Okay, what first up... What do you guys think of the essay? How much would you rate this essay? Out of 10. Alright, what do you guys think of the essay overall? I think there's a lot of points here. There's a lot of points here to try to think about, alright? PC games superior. Gacha games bad. <laughs> what gacha do to this guy? You play all your gacha and PC? I feel like we all do. I feel like we all do, right? No skill, just luck, good point. <clears throat> huh. 10 out of 10. 2 out of 10. May how out then? So, um... He is saying... Okay, what, what, what is he trying to say here? Uh, I'm trying to understand. I'm trying to con contextualize. To summarize, based on this lengthy essay that he write, I think he's saying that he doesn't like that he has to log in at this specific time, and usually the content are limited time. Right, the content, the, the gacha system, uh, it's all limited time, um, and it has to be done during that period. So is that what he's trying to say, right? I'm pretty sure that's his point. He doesn't like, he don't like that if you miss it, if you miss out on those, you miss out on those. It's like a FOMO thing, right? So basically he's the, he's afraid of FOMO, right? He's afraid of FOMO. Just looking for attention, he hates dailies. So he wants to be able to play gacha whenever he he's free or he, whenever he's able to like pc games he don't he don't want to uh, be forced to log in every single day to do dailies to get the rewards etc etc right what gacha game has no daily nowadays uh, i'm pretty sure all the gacha games do have dailies right and that is uh i mean that's how it is it's designed to to encourage you to log in every day i mean you don't have to you can you can spend a lot of money buy packages and stuff you don't have to do the dailies <laughs> but <coughs> The truth is, if you don't enjoy doing dailies, you don't enjoy the game. And if you don't enjoy the game, it's just okay to quit the game, right? I, I feel like, yeah, it's not it's not that difficult to understand. If it's something that you find it annoying or irritating, and you don't enjoy having fun doing it, so just just quit the game, I guess, right? And also, is there any gacha that has like permanent events? I don't think there is, right? The closest I can think of is another Eden, where like I know that, that that one is like more like an offline gacha. It's a bit different. It's like single player gacha or Octopath Traveler, right? Which by the way it just came out on C server. But yeah, my man went on to gacha gaming and took 10 paragraphs to say it ain't for me, dog. It's predatory. Like we didn't know this for the past 13 years. Damn. Is that the TLDR? Cause I, I'm sure AF not reading all of that. Damn. Nobody read all of that, except for me. Uh, same old, same old story. We know it can be predatory to those strapped for cash and can lead to addiction problems. OP brought nothing new, except wanking himself about belonging into a more superior master race that is the PC community. I mean, most gacha games nowadays have PC. So that's how it is. Most gacha games nowadays has it. 
But yeah, it's, it's going to be something that's a, a little bit different. Dailies is something for you to have a chance to earn something as a free-to-play in exchange. Yep, so basically you're sacrificing money with time. Uh, I do I do think that's uh, that's the approach, right? That's the approach. Uh, it is... Uh, bro had a realization that gachas are primarily after your time and money. Okay. In your mind, do all gacha players literally own a phone or something? Why do you think people care so much about emulators and PC clients? True? True? Tribalism, some PC gamers are very insecure. I don't know, man. I mean, a lot of good gachas are on PC, so there's that. Nikkei servers are on? Alright, it's time. It's time! But yeah, uh, oh my god, look at, the, look at the response, guys. Look at the response. Look at the response. There's so many people responding to him. Telling him he's wrong. Never... Wait, what? Wait, 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 what? Oh, okay. <laughs> he's like, I'm just gonna write an essay. And he got an essay in return. Is he gonna read all of this, though? He got 300,000 paragraphs of essay in return. Damn. GG, though. Gacha Gaming. Okay, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Where is it? Wait, what? 5GB? Wait, what? Why is there 5GB? I already downloaded. Uh oh. It's gonna be 10 years. Yo, 5GB? We already downloaded a, f a couple of GB earlier. Why another 5GB? Imagine he played World of Warcraft with all the raid, life skill, PvP, exploration. Huh. <laughs> 5GB Wi-Fi. I'm pretty sure I already downloaded some updates earlier. Why did he ask me to download another 5GB? Was he corrupted or something? Let me check. Uh, make sure I have space. I'm running out of space. 10 years, that's what Tower of Fantasy uh, wish. True. True, true, true. True. This is the Bitcoin miner. Oh, rip, man. Ripperino. Uh, has there been anything good in the Nikkei Reddit? Has there been any good essays right there, right? Okay, okay, it's not that long. I'm already halfway there. Damn. <coughs> the update was really downloaded long. Wow. Wow, that's a cool art, man. That is such a cool art. Wow. This is Doro. She's extremely cute but dangerous. List all heinous crimes she committed in the replies below. Mm. Any more Korea Twitch drama posts? Uh, it's not drama, man. That's like a sad thing that happened to them. I don't think that's drama at all, right? I think it's uh, actually, you know, a lot of them lost their job. I don't think it's... um. I know you're joking about that because it has never happened to you, but as someone that's lost my job three times before, two or three times before, I think it sucks. It really is. Like, the majority of you guys probably won't, won't ever understand because I, I don't think that's something that most people just casually experience, like losing jobs and stuff. But yeah, it always, it's always unfortunate if it ever happens. They have two more months. Two more months to relocate. It's a little bit unfortunate. I've lost jobs too, it will happen. <clears throat> Losing job is fine, right? Uh, most of the time it's okay. But it's just that uh, if you have families that rely on you, that's uh, a little bit tough. Most of my mobile game daily, if smart enough, can be done in 10 to 30 minutes. Maybe he's slow, takes half day. He could be playing a different game altogether, right? Wait, isn't this one of the story? Mid capitally. I don't understand. What is capitally? I thought her name is Leona. Oh, that's somebody's face. Okay, okay, that's uh, Shifty's face. Game is up. Yeah, I'm downloading the updates. Which is uh 40% there. 40%? You can just give this kind of thing to men, and they will be thrilled. Uh -huh. Love from Anne. Hey, that's cute. That's a good picture. NSFW. Can I click on this? Can I click on this? 
Because there's kids watching. Doro Containment Bridge. Eh, it's fine. Is this an SSR build for you guys? <laughs> I guess it is, eh? It's a bit too huge, and if you look at this at work, it's kind of suspicious, right? It's kind of suspicious. Shouldn't be looking at stuff like this at work. Who should I pull rerun of the new Snow no Nike Ludmilla? There's only one banner, isn't it? I mean, is, is, is Snow, is Ludmilla or the last one? You can't pull for the rerun. The rerun are built into the banners. Oh, Rupee Winter Shopper scale figure announced by Max Factory. Blanc's new costume is amazing. Indeed, indeed. What the heck? Oh. Okay. I'm looking at it at work now. Nice. You lost your job if you view it. Huh. Allies. Defense. Wait, Konosuba collab? Wait, nobody told me there's a Konosuba collab. Wait, is it true? Explosion. Okay. I like it. Yo, what if it's real though? Imagine if it's real. Plus 5 Calvi in 140 tickets. No idea who Calvi is. Uh, let's see. He's 60%. Man, I swear, man, if there's more updates, more. Bum, bum, bum. Megumin's GP, JP, Ri Takahashi also voices uh, Diesel. Yup, yup, I, I know that. Uh, Diesel, despite a bad singer, Takahashi Ri is a very good singer. I see, I didn't know that. She's a singer, eh? Her English VA also voices Yoimiya. From Genshin Impact. Our lovable dark skin girl, school girl, also share our VA with Hu Tao. Lovable dark skin girl, school girl, Naga, is it? Naga is the same VA at Hu Tao. Hmm. Didn't get Lumila, but max limit break Scarlet. Yo, congrats. Congrats. Okay, who wants me to pull besides Masaru? Ma. Saru. Okay, Masaru, alright. You pull everything for Dalvi? Huh. SA is showing chat from other platforms against Twitch multi platform streaming TOS. Uh, I don't understand what, what you just said, unfortunately. Are we done? You can pull on my out if you want. Out! Damn. You're waiting for summer event, but do you want me to pull on your out? It's more of if you want. Yo, this update is huge! Only one shot per engagement. Turns auto burst. Burst takes forever to charge. Uh, enough damage to one shot model wheel. Oh, really? The Mighty Tools Bunny Girls Duo, Lita and Santi. Ah, Snow White Drawing. Okay. 60 pulls, no go for now. What do I think about Twitch Korea getting destroyed? Uh, I did make a video already on Guitar Rock Gaming and I talked about it in yesterday's stream, right? Uh, I think it's a little bit unfortunate that they have to lose, uh, that they lost their jobs, right? Uh, I mean, you could you could always tell them, oh, uh, you shouldn't put your eggs in one basket, blah blah blah. But the truth is, 
most of them probably don't have a YouTube community as much. I mean, the people they are worried. Some of them do have YouTube, which is fine. They can easily shift their audience to the other platform. Uh, but even then, yeah, it, it really sucks. Like uh, you build such a, you know, depending on how big is your community, right? If you are like 10k and above uh, streamer, um, that's going to be a little bit unfortunate. A little bit unfortunate. 5 GB PC update, mobile 2.4 GB. Oh, mobile is only 2.4. Alright. I ruined my Honkai Star Rail guarantee, which I saved for runway. Accidentally put Argenti while trying to snipe Hanya. I see, I see. Yeah, I mean like... Wait, how... Where, what? At what pool do you get Argenti? <coughs> if you get Argenti within 10 pools... That's fine. I don't think it's that bad, right? Yeah, at what number do you get it? Two months is too short of a time. Oh, it is. It is. It's like two months notice. Is it sucks? But you gotta announce. You gotta inform. I think I bet you a lot of people still aren't aware of it. How many of you guys want to bet there are some Korean streamers that haven't been brought aware by that news? Like there are some people that are still out of the loop. <coughs> you did fourth single, so your PT is there. Ah, I mean that's good, right? That's that's really good. You got Argentina within four pools. So you literally got, you literally obtained a 5 star character within 4 pulls. Like, I think you won right there. You didn't lose. Argenti is quite high in the meta. Yeah, Argenti is uh, strong. He, he is good, uh, however he is... Oops. Laggy, laggy sound. You think most of them know Twitch send an email? Yeah, sometimes they, you don't check emails and stuff, right? And sometimes you could be using a, a new active email. I don't even know which email I use for my Twitch, right? It could be an email that I haven't used for a long time already because uh, I have the email, I have the Twitch account before. Bunny Lucky Pass, and then this, this, this. Okay. 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 All right. Time to see what this is all about. Is there a Christmas package? Argenti will get power creep next banner. Really, you think? This one is worth it only if you can go all the way here. If you can't go all the way here, you can only reach this one. You are better off buying this one. 150015. 15 this one you get 20 core dust. Even though it feels like you say you pay the same price, but you're forced to buy this first. Which is actually more expensive. You don't ideally don't want this. Uh, lame. Uh red dots everywhere. <coughs> uh using salted email. He is good, but Jing Liu and Dragon exist. Oh yeah, it does. Oh, they added this. Yo, this is so such a good quality of life. Look at this. They added this thing here. I'm not here to see you. And I'm not here because I miss you either. Wow. Wow. Now you don't have to go inside the uh, Neverland. To claim the thingy thingy. Right? Yeah, this is a good quality of life. Make it much more accessible. Although I think they, they might have uh, backfired themselves because now people will see, oh, there's two pass. Pay to win! Pay to win! Two passes! Huh. Lute mummy. Efficient pay to win? Pay to win in it. Okay. You, New costume. Is Mika here as well? Mika is one, right? Oh wait, she has long hair! Oh, I thought she has short hair if you look from the front. I didn't know she has long hair. No exposed asset. Damn. Be sure to come and visit. Okay. Okay, she cool. Uh, Ludmilla has huge asset. Huge! 
Damn. Damn, huge. Oh my god. Yo, huge. Wait, what? Oh. Would you like to come to Snowfield with me? Looks a bit weird. Oh, she tied her hair one way? Really? I guess she do. Did she? I mean, you can't tell from the... Nobody will notice the hair. Check the skin. How good is blonde skin? Wow. Wow. Eh. I think the original is better. What do you guys think? For me at least. I don't know if I pull for her. I only have 30 tickets. 30 tickets. Huh. Honky don't have a power creep like other games. Honky don't have power creep? Honky has a lot of power creep. What do you mean? Jing Yuan, Mid Yuan. I like blonde cover skin. Has there any? Tell me one character that's bad. Like one one recent like new character that's bad, right? In Honky. Is looking at me. Maybe because I'm wearing okay. Other than my bunny cool, costume. cool, cool. Christmas end. Original Nor is also better. Honky who? Honky Rail Star. It's time, guys. It's time! It's time! I got 50 tickets. 50 tickets? Wait, how do you do this? Um, okay, so basically you can, uh, as you can see, limited uh, Nikkei's can be recruited again. Let me show you guys. I think a lot of people are not aware of the how this thing works because nobody watches my patch notes video. Uh, or nobody re read the patch notes. But let me just briefly explain again. So you can see, it's going to be 4%. Alright, 4% as always to get SSR. And in that 4%, you have a 2% chance to get the pickup. In this case, it's uh, Lumila Winter Owner. If you if you don't care about her, you will prefer Mika. She will uh, arrive next week. But you also have 0.5%, 0.5%, 1 1% to get the all limited characters. In this case, Rupee Winter Shopper and Miracle Fairy Ann. Now, where did this 1% come from? Apparently, they reduced the rates of regular SSR, the others. Alright, so Pilgrim is still 0.5% collectively, added up together. And the other SSR, instead of, I think before this was 1.5%, uh, reduced to 0.5%. So you have a very high chance to obtain the new limited characters, definitely. Um, but, 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 if you really, really want to obtain the old characters, you don't care about the new character, you can always go for tickets. Alright, so if you go here, you, you look at the gold tickets, uh, it is available there. So you see, you can buy the old characters using the gold tickets, which might be better unless, like, let's say you really want her, for example, right? You care about her, you don't care about the other two. It might be better to just use tickets because 0.5%, I don't know, is like almost pilgrim rates. So yeah, that's something to consider as well. Is this banner going to be good for players to pull? New players, generally? I think for new players, if you are trying to break the 160 wall, this might not be the best of the banners to pull, actually. Okay, I got 53 tickets. Let's see if I got this. 4%. 4%. Reduce chance to break 160. Mmm. Alright. Alright, let's see then. Let's see. Okay. You fake out? No fake out. Alright. The map for this event is nice. I heard it's pretty big. We'll explore it after this. So the first 10 pulls has nothing. Nothing. First 10 pulls has nothing. By the way, Lumila herself is limited as well. So, I'm not sure what how they will do it next year. Eh? If, oh shoot, what did I keep? Yeah, think about it, right? Right now, we have two more limited. So next year, they are going to add four characters here. And then they will introduce new two more Christmas units. I don't know. Then there will be like a lot of split. Rip, you're only 30 tickets. Only 30. All right. Let's go here. Boom. And let's see. Okay, I did not get it. Did not get 
A20 pulls. 20 pulls. No 20 pulls here whatsoever. Alright, third time's the charm, hopefully. Third time's the charm. Let's see if I got it this time around. Hopefully, it's gonna be here. Has to be here, right? Third time's the charm. Third time is when you get lucky. Usually, you always get lucky on third time. Wait, what? I didn't get lucky on third time, guys. Guys, I didn't get lucky on third time. I didn't get lucky on third time. You did a one tap. I didn't get lucky on third time. I may be a mass production model. Wait, where's my SSR, guys? 4%. 4% 4% How do you get this? 4% 30 pulls, 0 SSR Okay, it's gonna be my, my next one soon Okay, let's see Let's see, is this it? 4% It's gotta be here, it's gotta be here It's gotta be here, it's 4% right? Wait, what? Where's the 4%? Come on Come on game Come on. I mean, to be fair, I did one tap tough. So that's why I get for being too lucky in the previous banner. Four multi, no goal. Okay, what is happening? 50! 50! 50 pulls. Alright, 50 pulls is the way to go. Yes! 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 It's at the end. It's at the end. Alright. Alright, it's gotta be here, right? It has to be, right? Alright, it should be, it should be. Belief. So we're looking for Tetra. We're looking for Tetra, alright? Specifically, just Tetra. So now, 2%. 2% out of the 4%. Tetra? Okay, now I'm a bit scared. Tetra? Yes! Yes! Tetra? Yes! Yes! Okay. Ludmilla, winter owner. Damn. 50 pulls. Wait, is it 50 or 60? 50. 50. I'll take it. I will take that. Ludmilla, winter owner. GG. G. Oh, I was so scared that I was going to get some. Actually, I wouldn't mind getting a uh, Miracle Fairy N. But eh. Eh. You wish you are that lucky? I don't think 50 pulls is lucky. There's a lot of people that one tap in the chat. <laughs> Those are the lucky ones. How is 50 pulls lucky, man? 2%. Oh, shoot. Do I have synchro slot? Do I have synchro slot? Let me check. I gotta make sure I have synchro slot. Okay, we're gonna do viewer pulls after this. Can I be as lucky though? On the viewer pulls account. That's going to be a little bit difficult, eh? Viewer pulls account. Can I be as lucky? You spend 40 pulls, you're luckier than me! You're luckier than me already! Okay, let's see. What is this? <coughs> Alright, so place the Nikkei in selected slot. 293. Alright, so that's the extra slot. Wait, does this event give uh, any synchro slot? It would be nice if they do. You want tap 2 on out? Wait, what? On out, you want tap 2? Is she a limited character? Yes! Yes, if you don't get her now, you're never getting her ever again! FOMO! FOMO! Ultimate FOMO! So make sure you guys get her, guys. Guys. Guys, make sure you guys get her. Alright? FOMO is very important. FOMO is all about you not being able to get her ever again. Okay, I need to log out and log in. To who? Uh, Masaru, I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting for you. Uh, verification. Okay, let's log into Masaru's account. Predatory, manipulative. Predatory and manipulative. All right, guys. Can I one tap on Masaru's account? Right. Why does my synchro have a giant yellow button and mine doesn't? Because you are a new player. Uh, to answer you simply, because you are a new player. Uh, you'll get there eventually. You still haven't unlocked the, the remaining stuff. You're still probably stuck at 160 gate or something. Uh, let's go to... Account... Logout... 
Okay, let me log out. Is she free train? I don't think so because train is not even a uh, fire element, right? Why would she be free train? Okay, so we're gonna be logging in. Masaru, I don't know if I can do this. All right, let me log in. Uh, that's your email, and then I have verification code login. Okay, send me the code. <clears throat> You wasted your luck on path to nowhere. You got three SSRs in 10 pulls. There's no such thing as wasted your luck. Uh, I know this sounds crazy, and I'm going to tell you something. Should I say it though? I don't think I should say it because it's like a, their religion, right? I don't want to like break people's religion. It's very bad to break people's religion. It's what they believe in, right? Um, but I'm going to say it anyway. Luck doesn't transfer between games. I know this sounds crazy, right? There, I said it, you know. I know what religion you have, and you think that your luck transfers to different games. But the truth is, it doesn't. <laughs> you say regarding Santa? It is regarding Santa. Religion, Lamao. Hey, some people, that's baked into their religion, alright? That's how they think luck works. It's literally baked into their religion. Their beliefs. <laughs> religion, drama. Gamal still winning. I got Lubila in 10 full, congrats. Yo, Masaru, are you there? <clears throat> will I pull two ferry later? Yes. Yes, I will. Uh, that one is in five hours, right? Uh, the patch. Uh, Masaru never came back to me. What's happening? Okay, let's try again. Please check email for verification code. Ask ghosts to transfer their luck. Come on, Masaru. Get the verification code 43, 42, 40 seconds, 39, 38, 37, 36. Okay, that's the code. Copy, paste, login. 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 Okay, it works, it works. Masaru account. I'm on Masaru's account, alright? We're gonna one-tap this. We're gonna one-tap. This banner is rigged for easy pulls. I don't think it is at all. Is Masaru going for MLB? Is Masaru going for MLB? Okay, let's find out. Who is uh, Flea? Oh. Oh, Akisa wants me to pull, okay. Damn. One tap in half hour reverse until 99 is up. No, it's not in half hour. In half hour, it's uh, maintenance. And I, th I don't think you know why. Wait, are you sure? You might want to double check it because I'm pretty sure it's in uh, a few hours. Just one copy. All right. Both patch happens because when I calculated yesterday is uh it, it should be five hours from now or something. Uh if I can pity a character from new banner, which one should I pick? If you can pity a character from new banner, which one should you pick? Um I gotta test with Mila, I can't tell you anything yet, right? I haven't even tested her. But she seemed really really strong. Uh that's going to be something to consider. Alright, let's go. How many pulls does Masaru has? Wait, is this a real Masaru or is this a fake Masaru? Wow. Okay, this is a real Masaru actually in the guild. Okay. Okay, let's see then. Hmm. Should I pull or save for the next pilgrim? Up to you, man. I, I need to test her first. Alright. Let's see. How many does Masaru has? Masaru has 42 tickets. 42 tickets. Let's go. Let's see if we can one tap for Masaru, alright? One tap on viewer's account. One tap. One. Not quite, not quite. Not quite one tap. 
But it's okay, we'll get there, we'll get there. Okay, that's the first pull. That's the first pull. Alright. Second pull. Second pull time. It's gonna be here, it's gonna be here. There, Masaru! Masaru, what's happening? Oh, man. Damn, this is tough. Yo, this is tough. Okay, third time's the charm. Third time is the charm. Okay. Fourth time is the charm. Fifth time is the charm. Third time is the charm. Yes! Third time is the charm. It's here, it's here, it's here. Yo, Masaru getting it. Yo, just like that. Okay, okay, okay. Nice. We're looking for Tetra, okay? Tetra. Okay, look at this, look at this. Nice. It has to be Tetra. Tetra, right? Tetra, one more Tetra, one more Tetra. Tetra, 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 Tetra. Yes! Masaru wins. The times the charm. So easy, man. So easy. Easiest pool ever. Masaru actually getting it? <laughs> Damn. Easiest pool of my life. No, no review. Yo, just like that. Next viewer's pool. Next one. <coughs> I got Tetra and it was Soda. Damn, it was Soda, eh? The banner is rig is easy than other banners. What do you mean? Of course it's easier than Red Hood. The last time you pull was on Red Hood. Of course it's going to be easier. It's literally written. It's 2%. Damn, Masaru joined the membership because of that. Damn. Join membership because he got annoying. I, I mean, he got uh the character. But hey, it is what it is. Alright, let me log out. And then... Is Ludmilla good? I haven't tested her yet. I'm still pulling. Give me uh, one more hour. No time to test yet. I am ready. But she seems pretty, pretty good. Let's go here. Log out. Okay, should I go Akisa first or who? Account, log out. Easier than Pilgrim? Of course it's easier than Pilgrim. Do you not understand how the banner works? Like what are we, what, what? Of course, Tetra is easier than Pilgrim. It's been like that since the, the first day. Boom, boop, boop. Lock out. Tetra is meant to be easier. Masaru save money with Yumila and use on membership. Wow. Okay, let's see if Akisa is ready. If he doesn't respond, I don't think he is. Uh, I'll just go and log into RT's one. Uh, this, that. Red Hood was many people's first pilgrim banner, and they all got PTSD from him. From it. Okay, what is the ID? Okay, we'll, we'll do Akisa first. Hopefully Akisa get lucky. Uh, do this, this, this. Login. Launch. Wait, how come Akisa don't have an ID? Am I going to stream reverse 1939 later, yeah? I'll be pulling for Tooth Fairy. Tooth Fairy. One tap. One tap indeed. Okay, Akisa's account first. Let's see if we got this. I did 80 pulls on Red Hood banner and there's no SSR. Yeah, it happens sometimes, right? 4% can be not really 4% sometimes. It do be happening sometimes. The Harming Girl. Really, really like Alright, this is Akisa's account. 
Let's see. Let's see if we got ready. Oh, the Akisa even have enough. 7,000 gems. Okay. Yo, Akisa do not have enough. Okay, Akisa only got 20 of this. And 7,000 of this. Okay. Okay. This is the hardest challenge yet. 40 pulls. Can I get it though? <laughs> Can I get it? 40, uh, 40 pulls? What did, I, what did he think I am? Huh? I'm gonna one tap this. Okay, let's see, let's see. I'm gonna one tap this. 30 pulls left, guys. Oh my god. 30 pulls left. Is this even possible, guys? Alright. Maybe it's possible. Maybe it's possible. Okay. Ah, shoot. Fake out, fake out, fake out, fake out. Okay, no fake out. Sash. Yo, this is really tough. Okay, now we have to use gems. We got 20 more pulls. Damn, is this even possible? This is a tough one. Third time's the charm. Okay, third time's the charm. Third time's the charm. Believe. Uh oh. No fake out as well. He has enough to spark. Yeah, he does have enough to spark. But ideally, you don't want to use spark because you want to spark Mika. You ideally want to spark Mika. Actually, it depends if he wants to get Mika or not. Okay. Let's go. Masaru actually winning. Actually winning. Alright. Last one, last one, last one. Yo! Yo, 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 yo. Okay, this will determine if this account needs to spark or not. Okay? We got one SSR right here. We beat the 4%. But can we do it? Can we beat the 2% though? Can we get the 2% to get specifically Ludmilla, winter owner? We're looking for Tetra. Come on, Tetra! Oh, shh! Pilgr Pilgr oh my god! You ought to thank your lucky stars that I'm around. Okay, at least it's new. At least it's a new character. But I'm not sure if this is what Akisa wanted, but mmm. Mmm. Unexpected, eh? A pilgrim instead of. A pilgrim instead of, uh, you know? Instead of Lumila. But hmm. Hmm. Okay. The GG Akisa. GG GG. Huh. It is all it is, you know? Pilgrim is rarer? It is rarer. <laughs> His first Heron. Do you do people even use Heron? Heron in 2023? Come on. Come on, it's 2023 now, guys. Almost soon to be 2024. Guys, we're December, guys. Guys, we're December. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh shoot, I forgot I need to do two more streams later. Oh my god. Because the Game Awards show is happening, right? Okay, 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 okay. Um, Let's log out. We'll log in. Boom. Bam. Use her to wear her anniversary dress. Okay, what is this? Uh... Okay. Now Akisa can use the costume. Oh, Akisa brought the Heron costume. Okay, I'll log into RT's account. This. The password. Wait, what, what's the plan here? Let me see. Just put one copy. 
Okay, just put one copy. All right. Watch party for Game Awards, yeah. But I'm, I think most of you probably can't watch it because it's very unusual stream time. It's going to be like, uh, fourteen hours from now. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. You log in. Just saw the event story, uh, splash art. I heard it's pretty good, eh? Use her to wear the anniversary dress. Noir or blonde skin, which is a W. Why not? Why not get both? It's only twenty dollars plus two. I mean, twenty dollars times two. Instead of uh, buying Pokemon's cookies, I think you should consider buying the skin. You get what I'm saying? Oh, oh! Everybody has this. Everybody has this costume. All right. This is RT's account. What the heck? 100% outpost. You didn't even claim for two years. Alright, let's see. Let's see. 80 pulls. 80 plus 7,000 gems. Do we got this or not? Of course we got this, right? Of course we got this. Alright, let's see. And which one shall this be? Yo, one tap. Yo, what? Wait, one tap. Okay. Soldier FA, await Tetra, Tetra, Tetra. Even with snow just like that. Yo, just like that. Yo, this is going to be RT's main Welcome account now. To Snowfield Hot Spring. Wow. Oh, just like that. Yo, just really like that. Really like you. Nikkei is the best game ever. Best game, easiest pull of your life. Easiest pull of your life, right? Never fail. Never. Alright, logging out now. Just one copy. Save the rest for Mika. Mika star. You log out. Uh, he told me poor in so many ways. Who told you poor? Wait, what are we talking about? Regional pricing makes each skin worth $100 for me. $100? Damn. So from $20 to your region become $100. I don't think there's a regional pricing though, right? I, I think every country, is the, every region is the same price. It's just your currency's conversion. But her five times in three ten pulls. Three ten pulls. Nice. Give you luck? I can't give you luck unless I pull in your account, but I, I'm already done with that, right? Uh, you're planning to start Brown Dust 2. Ooh, Brown Dust 2! Brown Dust 2, Dalvi! Yeah, just get Dalvi. She seems really broken, man. Service tax. Wait, there's a service tax in this game? I thought the tax is already into the, the, the cost, right? The money, the cost that you are paying up front. I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong. Alright, time to test. Time to test. Before that. Where is it? Where is Ludmilla? Damn. We're ready, alright? I got all of these ready. So we are not going to equip any overload gears yet. Damage taken. Oh, it does scales off. 7.42%. Okay, this one reloads 12 rounds. Oh, everything is heavily scaled. So you actually, yeah. Uh, so this might require a lot of uh, skill investment. 108%, 115%. Okay, I don't mind getting it to level 5 first because I'm confident that she is going to be really, really strong. So let's do this first. 64, 69%. Yeah, 69% is pretty good. 
critical rate is 9. It goes up to like 15, is it? Something simpler. 10.2 become 10.95. Reload speed is 40%. I don't think the reload speed uh, matters as much. Because she's not going to reload during her... Oh, I, I doubt it. I highly doubt it. Or at least I'll make sure that she's not going to. 51% attack. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay, I overboarded that particular one. Let's go with Bastion for now. Oh, wait. They changed the interface. Yo, they changed the interface, man. Tof. More like... More like nobody use. Wait, where is he? Is she broken? She is. She is going to be quite broken. Uh, let me find some gears, then we test her. Wait, I don't have a better Tetra. Volume 1 is better. You take volume 1. Drake, oh no, that's, that's... Oh yeah, Drake is missing list. Uh, bup, 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 bup. Uh, don't have any body missing list. Uh, how about this one? Wait, I only got one boots for Tetra? Damn. I only got one dupes for Tetra. Alright, fire time. I'm gonna destroy. Um, oh, we do have this one. I should probably test with the uh, the given unit. I've already prepared. Tia Naga. Let me see if I can find. When can we have a dessert? Are we going for a swim? Sure, let's go. Teacher, what are we learning today? I'll test something along these lines first. Uh, who can increase ammo? Actually, Noah is pretty good, right? Since um, she's able to benefit with that. Hey, let's try with Scarlet. And then we're gonna max out everyone. Your Nora does more damage than Lumila. Wow, really? Okay, so I'm gonna test with um, Scope Lock On. So everyone here is same level and maxed out, assuming they are Core 7. And I think their skills are maxed as well. Diesel increase ammo, but you want to use the Naga or Tia and Naga. If you use Diesel, uh, be a waste. Let's see if she ever reloads at all. Okay, she did. Very interesting. Okay, her reload speed is quite long. I can see why. She wants to have a uh, fast reload speed. Yup. So I guess if we increase our uh, max ammo capacity by a ton, it's gonna be pretty interesting. Okay, they are both activate burst once. Let's see, so far Lumila is doing slightly more, but this is a fire uh, element stage so far. <coughs> That low level cut dress. Let's see if we can activate enough bursts to gauge the difference so far. I 
Wait, who activate? Oh, this should be the last one. All right. Uh huh. Reload fast. Okay, can we get one more burst so that Scarlet can also burst twice and then we get a fair comparison? They both burst twice. Ludmilla and Scarlet. Okay, time's up. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. 134. Hmm. Oh, pfft. this is pretty impressive actually. Okay, we are in the fire stage. Uh, I mean, we do have the elemental advantage. So Lumila do get the elemental advantage here, right? So 59 million versus 42 million from Scarlet. Both are uh, equal, at equal uh, strength. Uh, since I set it to to use all uh, from the core seven, uh, basically you can you can toggle that off. So they both have the same gears, assuming, right? I think this is pretty good. I think this is pretty good. Uh, 42, 59. If she can go toe to toe with Scarlet almost. How much difference would it be if uh, I don't have the elemental advantage? So let me try. Uh, let me try on something like... Uh, win. Which I think both don't have elemental advantage. Try on neutral? You can't try on neutral. So I have to try on something like this. Like there's no neutral as far as I know. You have to choose one element. I've already prepared. So this is a level 10 uh, Lyudmila. Let's go with... Where is it? Where is... I can't always seem to find her. Are we going for a swim? Sure, let's go. Teacher, what are we learning today? Who shall what be the are next we learning? fall under my blade? <clears throat> Lumila is using poorer gear at the moment. Uh, both have no gears. Both have the same same amount of gears. So basically, when you, you when you turn on the scope lock, right? So basically, uh, it basically maxes everything. And I will assume they don't have gears. Like the characters here don't have gears. Do they have gears? When you turn on the turn off the scope lock, or maybe they do, eh? But this part, my Lumila. Oh yeah, Lumila do have poorer gears. I guess Scarlet do have gears, uh, overload gears in that sense, huh? So all scope lock does is it maximizes your your skill level, I believe. What is with Limila and they have both no advantage? Yeah, this is where I'm testing it. This is win. So Scarlet and Lumila both has no advantage here. Scarlet mid in 2024? What do you mean Scarlet mid in 2024? Hmm, very interesting actually. Very interesting results at least for me. I find this very very fascinating. Kimochi! Yup, yup, Kimochi. Uh huh. Imagine Noah's on disadvantage on chatterbox and does more damage than Lumila. Well, does your Noah has uh you know overload gears? Because I think most people one has. Have I made a gear guide video? Yes, I have. You can search up Nikkei gear guide if you're asking about Nikkei. Oh, are you asking about Black Hole? Okay. So oh, this stage is neutral? Damn! Damn! Neutral? 
on neutral, Ludmila wins. On neutral, Ludmila wins. Wait, Scarlet is Midlet? What? Okay, let me try my own one. Let me try my own one. <laughs> huh. Okay. Okay, let me try my Ludmilla. Uh, against I'm gonna put here Where's my own Lumila? I've already prepared So I'm gonna try this Lumila right here 556 five, Bastion Cube Alright Against my full overload Scarlet Gear 10, 10, 10. At win element, alright? No way Scarlet is winning, no way. No way Scarlet is winning. I mean, no way Scarlet is losing. <laughs> For sure, Scarlet will win this time, alright? <clears throat> Scarlet equals to Noah now. Scarlet is not good at hitting cores. But this is, this is a stage where Scarlet shines, bro. Because there's multiple uh, enemies, right? But again, we'll leave it on, on auto and have a look. One thing that I noticed about this team is... I do get the uh, burst gauge regeneration extremely slow. Compared to like shotgun or stuff, right? And her reload speed is so long. Lumila is one of the longest reload speed ever. Do comparison with Modernia. Modernia loses, I think. In general, Modernia loses. Also, I'm not too sure if uh, putting Modernia in this, like a Tia Naga team. You can try with Blong and Noir, I guess. So, one more Scarlet Ultimate. Okay. Alright, moment of truth, alright? This is comparing. A Ludmilla with no overload gears, skill level 556, five, versus Scarlet with full overload gears, skill level 10, 10, 10. Are you guys ready? Holy, give me a new score. That means. Okay. I think that's pretty impressive. What do you guys think? Let me let me zoom in a little bit. Doop, boop, 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 boop. Um, so I think this is pretty impressive, uh, the damage difference, you know, is there for sure, but keep in mind, uh, like I mentioned earlier, right, so this damage is coming off from a Lumila with 5, 5, 6, and 0 overload gears, whereas Color has full overload and is 10, 10, 10. And it is on a neutral element. It is on a neutral element uh, stage. In this case, I think it's a win type. Her reload spot. Yeah, it is on a win. I did try this on a win stage. So I'm trying mine. So yeah, um, we already we did both earlier. We did test without, uh, without uh, you know, at skill 10 and 10, and you know, by taking this on, I believe this one will take into calculation. Uh, all of this skill at maximum, right? So that's what we did test earlier as well. And I brought in the other Lumila. So that would have... Uh, that one has way... I think Lumila may be better than Scarlet. Once you have uh, a good overload gears. I think you definitely have the potential. She definitely has the ultimate potential. Now let's test with Chatterbox. Although I'm, I'm not a big fan of testing with Chatterbox. Per se. As a Scarletless, I must pull her. Yeah, she's really, really strong. Chatterbox is going to favor uh, Rocket Launcher and Shotgun. Uh, by the way, somebody that mentioned earlier about how Noir does more. 
That's because of how Shatter Box uh, parts were built. Built around. So we're gonna go here. Have a look at this. Red Hood, Mid Hood. Uh, train. This. Okay, we can test this. We can try with Modern Air. We just go regular team, alright? We go like something like Little. Um, burst 2. We go like a different team altogether because I don't think Chatterbox will be able to benefit much. Where is Dola or am I blind? It should be crystal clear who gets what. Where is Can I wear your clothes on this mission, Kim? I've already prepared. <laughs> Let's do this. Okay, I should do a I should do a mock battle first with this team. Does she only work with Tia? Uh, Tia and Naga improves core damage, so they do have uh, extra synergy right there. It's gonna be a bit different. She's reloading now. Okay, I believe she got smacked earlier. Okay, let's see if we got enough damage here. Everybody's reloading. Uh oh. Not gonna be super accurate here. Oh, Lumila died. <laughs> Little Mila died. Rip. Uh, let's see, Modernia did more here, for sure. Uh, pretty much what I expect. But this one is going to be a bit hard to test. I think Shatterbox is not the, the best one to test. Let me try and swap around. Bastion or Resilience? I'm currently using Bastion for now. Uh, let me do this. Boom, boom. Can I wear your clothes on this mission, Commander? I can see why Modernia can, is going to be able to do more damage because Chatterbox has three parts um, close to each other. So Modernia's ultimate will make sure that she is going to do more. Lumila can't hit all three at once, Modernia can. Oh, what the heck? So that for for that fact alone, I think uh, Chatterbox, specifically for this boss, I think Modernia is gonna be better. Okay, let's test the damage. Yeah, I was right. Uh, Modernia will be able to do most, uh, more damage most of the time. <coughs> Two copies in 40 pulls. Uh, I was thinking, please pull one rupee after the first Ludi desire sensor is real. Two copies in 40 pulls. Yeah, that's going to be uh, 
Blacksmith is yesterday. We can't test Blacksmith tomorrow. Is there any other boss that we can test? We want to test with a different boss. This boss is going to be harder to test. Let me see if I got anything in my heart story right now. I think there's a boss there that I can test. Plus, you don't, don't have overload gears yet. Um, do I have a boss here? Who is this? This is um. Oh, this is base defense. <laughs> Let me go to the um campaign. Alright. Special interception. I just did. Maintenance will drop in four minutes, not true fairy. Yeah, why do people keep spreading fake agenda message, man? Them in their entirety. Damn. Is this the right way? Do people not read patch notes anymore or is they are pretending? The right way? Sure why don't people read patch notes? Patch notes is written by developers. So hardworking. No, this is my heart stage. This is the, the closest I got. Uh, let me just get. I've already prepared. Is this the right way? People don't read. Hmm. Why not though? Why don't people like to read? Out of thirty pulls for one Snow White, one Lumila, and one Anne. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> reading issues. The reading issues. Gonna two is uh finish. It's finished, it's done. Yeah, Molina did way more here. But Lumila did way more than Noah. Reloading. Modernia is going to excel in PvE stages like this. Although I'm really curious, what if I never activate Modernia's uh, burst or ultimate? Let me try that. As a new player, should I save gem for event summon or just spend it all on standard banner? As a new player, you should always wait and don't rush it on day one. Let let uh, the veteran players test first. Is my advice. Oh shoot, I got distracted. Why do I go and answer this new player? Oh! I wanted to check better statistics. Don't rush, man. If you're a new player, don't rush. Just wait. Just wait until you have the final verdict that people say that she's really, really good. Don't have to. You don't have to pull within day one. You don't have to pull within first day. That's just my advice, though. I know most people would really want to pull within first day and it will make you happy for like three minutes. But in general, you shouldn't. One, two, three, four, five. Because if you make the bad decision, uh, yeah, can ruin your account. Um, mm, 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 mm. we take out Modernia, swap with Noir. There'll be a better placement. Okay, she died. That time around. Okay, let me do one more. So I know, and I am aware of that. That Monania's burst is better. Can I wear your on this so let's try this. <laughs> the cake is tempting. She's the new swimsuit neon. No, I think she's way better. She's way better. She just sucks in PvE though. That's the thing.
and she's very specific to her boss. I think she's just specifically bad for for chatterbox specifically. I bet you once reset. What's after? Uh, what's tomorrow's boss? Is it Grave Digger? If Grave Digger is hard to test as well. Save tons of pull so you can guarantee C7. C7. Heal up, heal up. Just a moment. Uh okay. Okay, that's a burst. That's your second burst. You're able to do more damage. The reload is very long. Should I give reload speed cube? Okay, let's see. Uh, we test against these uh, base defense. Even though I lost, but both are Modernia and Lumila managed to make it to the end. Uh, her damage lags if it's too many enemies, I notice. Uh, Modernia is gonna be more here. I feel like she doesn't shine in story in particular. She doesn't shine in, in story. Do these monsters don't have a core hit? We'll test against more bosses. Or maybe Tia Naga is just way superior with her, eh? I'll take the lead. Let me try, let me try something. Is it because of that? Like Tia and Naga is just way... It just... Amplifies the damage significantly. Because that could be why. So if you don't got Tia and Naga, she might not be worth fooling for. Uh, we go with a uh, 2. In this case, her... The Ratchet at the very back was hard to hit. Worse than Noir. Yeah, my Noir, everyone on my team do have Overload here, so you have to keep that in mind. And also, Noir is going to do pretty decent here, right? With all the enemy clump out together like that. One rotation, no naga. So, um... Huh. How do I make them not die? They're always going to constantly die. If you always use Tia without naga in the team, is it good? Naga is the better one to use alone. Tia is this one, right? He asked the fat one, right? The one that just died. No, that one is worse than Naga. Pia instant dead rip. Instant dead rip indeed. You can also consider little. I mean, just the regular stuff. You also boost Modernia's damage. I don't think I'll be able to make it to the hot spring today. I think Modernia is gonna be better for story. She just is, right? Her design is just is uh you can't hit multiple units with uh Ludmilla. Ludmilla can't do that when Modernia can. And that's already something that's like even though the area is not super huge. All Lamilla does is just boosting her attack. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Attack and reload speed. Uh, where is she? Where is she? Here. You hyper boost attack, you increase reload speed, and there's no additional effects. So she's gonna shine specifically in like uh, when there's lesser enemies, I think. So I'm pretty sure if I compare her with Modernia, 
Let me try this, alright? Let's go to the union. Did we not do this? Uh, I'll try since they are both fire, right? Wait, no, no, Modernia is fire, she's water. Uh, we do it on... We do it on electric. Okay. Let's try Ludmilla here. And let's try this. Let's try Ludmilla, Blanc and all. Let's try something different. And then I'll do this where everyone will have the same level. This Ludmilla is the max out Ludmilla, right? Level 10. However, there's no cube on this particular Ludmilla. So let's see. Wouldn't Little Blanc and Nor be better for her? Follow me. No, Tia and Naga is better because she excels in, in dealing core damage and you want to boost that, right? You want to build upon her strengths. If you have a uh, Blanc and Nor, you're better off using that in other team. Just like how you want to pair Dorothy, uh, Swinsu Ennis and Privati together. Blanc and Nor is too flexible, ideally. More flexible than Tia and Naga. So this is Modernia versus... This one is more far apart. The enemies here at least. So we'll, we'll confirm here. Can she beat Swimsuit Ennis here? I think she can. Against bosses though. I think she's going to be... Um, I, I think she will be behind Red Hood though. Because at least Red Hood has a slight AoE. Whereas Lumila is purely single target. It's literally purely single target. And the moment the bosses has like adds, the bosses has like minions that it can summon, that's where Lumila falls off. So she's gonna shine only against certain bosses, like very very few bosses that has like very specific um single target that cannot summon any other additional units, right? Okay, let's see. I guess this makes me a good look so this one is comparison with Modernia, so let's have a look. Uh, she's doing a lot here. Yeah, she's doing a lot right here. So you can tell she definitely has a lot of damage potential, right? Uh, what is happening? So she's doing way more. 47 million. My is, uh, I mean, Mo Modernia is 43. And this is neutral. This is a neutral stage, right? Neutral stage. And this is going to be something that's... Um, not, no, no one is at an advantage right here. And this one is more similar, right? Skill level 10 and stuff. So I do think that she actually has potential. It's just where her potential shines might differ. Core exposed bosses is the place she's going to shine. Yes. Uh, or minions, right? Like in this case, this minions has core exposed as well. So if the enemy do not have core exposed, she might not seem as, as useful. That's the thing. So Blacksmith is going to be a better testing, but Blacksmith was yesterday, right? So can you see every time I hit the enemy here, there's the word core hit there. So there's this word core hit. It's very small, but you can see, right? Core hit, core hit. So because this, all of these raptures here, they, they have cores, they are exposed. But not every stage is like that. For example, uh, let me show you guys. The stage that I just did just now in the story, those raptures, those enemies there don't have the core exposed. Core exposed means you can see a red, so red dot on the enemy. Like he's uh, usually in the red. It's like their eyes or something. What is core hit? That means you're hitting the enemy in the core. You're hitting them in the core. So like I go to the campaign right here, right? 
Now notice I'm going to play this particular campaign, right? Look, I'm going to show you guys. This campaign, if you are not mistaken, the enemies here do not have core exposed. Yeah, these enemies don't have core exposed. Okay, that one has. This one has core hit, you can tell. That one is the boss. The one at the side doesn't have. I don't know if you guys can tell. Uh, that one has core hit, that one has core hit. Like this one doesn't have. Like you can tell not all enemies here have core hit. So you can see uh, this one in the in this particular stage, every enemies here have core hit. But in the stage that we just did, this one has no core hit, right? This enemy don't have core. Uh, or don't have exposed core, right? You gotta be able to hit enemies with exposed core. If you expose core, you can see the word core hit. Uh, Blacksmith has that if you hit specifically in the middle red eye. Uh, not many bosses have have exposed core, that's a thing though. Yeah, that's the thing. Not many bosses have exposed cores. Blacksmith is one that I can know. Uh, Ultra, once you beat the first shield, you have an exposed core as well. Chatterbox core is not exposed. That's why her damage doesn't uh she doesn't do much against chatterbox. I think chatterbox core is a shell, right? That one is not an exposed core. Does it make sense? Like I hope I'm explaining that right. So let's like you guys know chatterbox has two missile and one core in the middle. That's not counted as exposed core. I think you don't get bonus damage from that. That's why you don't get the word core hit. Chatterbox considered part as core. I don't think so. Because if it does, it would say core hit. Does that make sense? So if you look right here, right? So if you look at Chatterbox, uh, he has this thing. So he has Missile Launcher 2, Missile Launcher 1, and Core in the middle. His Core is in this four, is, is, is in head, right? But it's not exposed Core. So notice when I sh hit Chatterbox, it didn't say Core hit. Does it make sense? Like look. When you hit Chatterbox, look at the numbers. It did not say core hit, whereas when you hit the raptures here, it says core hit. So this, are, this is not exposed core. This is not considered exposed core. That's why she doesn't shine in doing high damage against this boss. So I think there's two types of core. One is exposed cores. One is like more hidden core. It's only core hit after you break his helmet. Yeah, and ideally you don't want to break Chatterbox's helmet, right? Because if you break his helmet, he... That's a part, not a core. Yeah, but it's labeled as core. Does it make sense? Can you see it's labeled as core? Uh, right here? It says here core, C-O-R-E. Can you see? C-O-R-E. Core. So missile launcher, missile launcher, core. <laughs> so there's two types of core. There's exposed core, and there's non-exposed core, which is this type of core. This is more like a parts. I, I, I get what you're trying to say. But I think the game basically tries to distinguish them as, as exposed core and non-exposed core, I guess. So that's pretty, much, uh, that's pretty much the issue there, right? But yeah, let's, that's a good point. Let me try and break Chatterbox core and see. <clears throat> Red core hit. Yeah, you ideally want the, the red core hit. Let me try and dis destroy the core without the rocket launcher. I think that would be a good idea.
Am I hitting the call? Okay, can you see now it's call hit? Once um once the part goes down, there's call hit there. But then when when there's when you do that, he does this. Give me a little. Yeah, there's call hit, but you gotta make sure that the boss has exposed call. So the core is behind his shell. Should make a whole video explaining core. Why, why is that to explain? It's just core. It's just core. There are core parts and core core. Bro, explain like my chemistry teacher. What do you mean? Core 101. It didn't say it's core hit. That's why on the Mila skill it specifically say, right? Didn't it specifically mention? The solo union rate chatter box will have different core mechanic. Um, so this one when hitting the core for 60 times. Uh, it doesn't count for... It doesn't count for that core, I think. I don't think it counts for the shell call. Right? He does the KO move. Yeah, a uh, chatter box ideally you don't want to destroy the um core. Once you destroy the core, that's going to happen. She's going to shine against bosses and against uh, certain bosses that have exposed core, she's going to do more. But if not, she doesn't shine as much, I can see. I can see she's going to be uh We need more bosses to test. I think it's gonna depend. Obviously they're gonna make I still think she's the, be the best water type though. Does Nihili still have cause? I think Nihili still one is similar to Chatterbox. It has like a protection, and then you gotta destroy that. People will pull for cake alone. Blacksmith solo rate different from Blacksmith intersection. Most mini bosses in campaign have exposed core, so it's not that bad. Mini bosses in campaign. Yeah. Modernia are still better in campaign though. It's just where where would I rank Lyudmila right now, right? Considering this. At first I thought she's going to be 9 out of 10, and it feels like it feels like that. But if the condition doesn't meet, then she's not that good actually. She still does less than Modernia and Scarlet, I think. So I feel like she's more of a 7 or an 8. Pull her for meta or design. Rayhood doesn't seem to have that issue because she doesn't she doesn't uh, necessarily shine against that. Limit her uses. I think the problem is uh, her ultimate kit doesn't do anything besides buffing herself. Whereas Modernia's ultimate kit actually does something, right? It increased the burst time, she has unlimited ammo, she deals, uh, you know, final damage. And also she can extend her her AoE, she becomes an AoE somehow. If you realize something similar, it'll be it'll be better. Limit her uses because I wanted Christmas and plus she's limited. Damn. Blood pull for the looks and assets. Let me think of a of a way to test her. Meanwhile, while I'm thinking, let's um. What's the boss tomorrow again? 
after Shatterbox, is it is it a Grave Digger? Grave Digger. Dorothy is better uh, against core bosses. Bosses with core. Yeah, I guess that still counts as parts. If you don't have Polonia. I shall grant you victory, your grace. Wait, what? Using small stone. I thought everybody here has. Everybody here has, right? Makes me a good luck charm, doesn't it? After all that, I just not worth MLB from what I'm seeing. MLB is never worth it. I've already made like six videos about that. You should probably check out my Red Hood video. I think you still haven't watched that and you still think MLB is worth it. Consider checking out that video, like really, it would do you a lot of... A lot of... What's the word I'm thinking? A lot of se less harm... What's the opposite of self-harm? <laughs> um, A lot of surveys. It would do you a lot of favor if you... Like, that video is for you, it's not for me at all. But if you don't know watch it, that's fine. But it will actually be very beneficial because you still think your mindset is you still think MLB is ever worth it. But you should actually watch that video to understand how how much percentage difference. Watch the Red Hood one, and then you'll be able to to gauge. I've done multiple versions, right, for Swinsu Ennis, uh, 2B and stuff. Okay, let me think. Is there any other way? What's the challenge boss right here, right? What I give to cozy up some Oh, they have voice now. Warm this winter. I wonder if there's anywhere suitable. Hmm. What's that? What the? Do, do, do. Is this a hot spring on the surface? Hey, Tove. That's right. Damn, her voice I is all Oh, yeah, how do you get na Neve? You can't get Neve. Swimsuit Ennis was the one I want to get MLB and got lucky 20 pulls. She is OP. Swimsuit Ennis is OP. And I, stumbled upon this hot spring. I, I only know Blacksmith that has exposed core actually. I'm trying to think of other boss. What other boss has exposed core? Maybe the one with the shield stout or something? Stout shield? People who lived on the surface back in the day must have used this. I think you may be right. All it's missing is the water. There's a resort, some shops, even a walking path. It's surprisingly well preserved. I know. I was amazed when I first saw it too. By the way, can you help me dig over here? It'd take too long if I had to use my bare hands. And tools aren't exactly my forte. Then you came to the right person. Tools are my specialty. In fact, I recently made a tool that makes excavating a cinch. This is the first time I heard of Toph's voice. Where should I dig? I just remember the previous event where I voice it all. <coughs> wow. Using a tool definitely means <coughs> using your hands. At this rate, we'll probably be done in one hour. That's right. If you want to get the job done right, then the right tool is important. Do you hear that? Is it just me or does that sound like a gas leak? I think something is stuck. Uh oh. Explosion. <gasps> a loud vibration reverberates from the ground, quickly followed by a gushing torrent of water. How hot! You're right about that. I'm thinking this must be the hot spring. I think you're right. I thought it would be okay since the ground was dry. 
It doesn't seem like it's stopping. Let's go and get Ludmilla. Hmm. Ah, the water is nice and warm. Just look at all that steam coming off. Ah, I feel like I'm on Cloud Nine. Cloud Nine? What's the point of rerunning the old event without giving us Navy? They never rerun though, right? Did they? This is a new event. This is not an old event. This one is a new event. Who would have thought we'd find an abandoned hot spring in a place like this? And the point I was not giving you Neve is Let me see it. For FOMO. FOMO. You gotta have FOMO, right? Gacha game is about FOMO. Who asked you didn't play last time? Hmm? Hmm? FOMO! I think we could renovate this hot spring and get it back up and running. Okay. Ooh, that's a good idea. They would never rerun. Huh. The past Christmas event was it voice? They have the voice one uh, in a new one. After all, it'd be a shame to let all this water go to waste. Wait, are you being serious? Why not? It clearly was a hot spring once before. The buildings are all in good shape. Are you telling me that the northern base is gonna have its very own hot spring? I think that just might be in the cards. But first things first, I need to contact the Ark. Okay. That's where I come into play. Wow. Huge. Huge exploration GBs. They have a voice one in the in the place that you can play. Oh. Is this the right way? Swimming sure can tackle you out. Cool music. I'll show you the way. Is this the right way? Uh oh. Swimming sure can tackle you out. What's the second one, guys? I'll follow you closely, teacher. Guys, where's the second one? I'll show you the way. Huh? Any iguanas over there? Is it here? What the heck is this? Private hot spring usage guide. Open from 8 o'clock to 10. Reserve with the person in charge. Swimming sure can tackle you out. Any iguanas over there? Why this place has to be so freaking huge? Login stem. Follow you closely, teacher. Free tickets. Free. <clears throat> is the mini game lock? I guess it's locked from lock from now, eh? I'll show you the way. It's Any locked from now. Over there? I'll follow you closely, teacher. Is this the right way? Oh, I found it, guys! It's here! It's here! I found it. Robust, lightweight, easy to handle, you get perfectly peeled potatoes and tasty tomatoes. Huh? I'll show you the way. Guys, is he one of Swimming those guys? Sure Damn. You out. Damn. I'll follow you closely, teacher. Okay, come here. Any iguanas get this. Over there? Any iguanas over there? Any iguanas? Any iguanas? Huh. Nice town. Swimming sure can tackle you out. This one doesn't need bonus points. We can bring the villa. I've already prepared. Are we going for a swim? Sure, let's go. Long no. Are we gonna go play a game? <coughs> Sounds fun. And who shall be the next to fall under my blade? Hmm. <laughs> Cooking class. <laughs> so keyboard is broken. I like that's how the excuse they use. Oh man, I like how that's how that's the excuse they use. Oh, we can test right here. Four expos. Yeah, blacksmith is going to be the best one. <laughs> keyboard, keyboard type by itself. <laughs> Keyboard type by itself. 
Yo, you think his keyboard can type by yourself? I'll follow you closely, <laughs> How is it possible, guys? Right? How can I'll the keyboard type by yourself? Any iguanas over there? They haven't do that before in a horror movie, have they? That's very creative. I would like to see a horror movie where the keyboard type by yourself. I've watched so many horror movies and I don't think I've seen it. I've seen Piano Press by yourself. That's the closest that I've seen. I haven't seen the keyboard type by yourself in a horror movie yet. But I think I would laugh instead of being scared. Rice bowl set meals, assorted grilled vegetables, fried shrimp and free hot spring eggs available. Is this the right way? So where where do I see the L to D? Somebody keep toiling me the L to D is there. L to D is good. Wait, is that milk? Coal milk. Whose milk is it? How do I see this? How do I see? <coughs> Keyboard type itself is the worst horror movie if that ever exists. How do I see the full picture, guys? I want to see the full picture. We just hear the story for now. L to D is win. Oh, this one? Wait, Blanc and Noah are not, are not naked. Blanc and Noah are not naked. Hmm. It's part of the story section art. Okay. Is it too much though? <laughs> Neurons activate. Neurons! Are we gonna go play a game? Activated! Then count me in. Let's give it everything we've got. I've already. Just leave it to me. Okay. So what's the story about? Looking. Is that looking? Everyone? Wait, Mustang. Wee. Wee. All right then, let's. Wait, I don't see Suen. Suen. Suen asked that Masillus be excluded from this meeting. Apparently, this is a busy time of year for her. My oh my! Xuan must be the most occupied girl in the entire arc! In line with her request, we'll be proceeding without Masillus' involvement. Okay. On, we are being told that a hot spring has been uncovered on the surface near the northern base. Exactly! Real! A hot spring? This is quite a surprise. How was it discovered? According to Ludmilla's report, a Nikkei by the name of Neve stumbled upon it while attempting to dig out a den in which to hibernate. Oh, it's called Neve, it's not Neve. Ah. My girls are simply more incredible. She's so devoted to her work that she can uncover all kinds of unique treasures. Hmm. Hmm. I'm hoping that Elysion and Tetra will endorse further recon missions to explore the hot spring. We don't know what kind of resources may potentially be uncovered there. In that case, we can send Absolute and the scouts from Elysion. They're quite adept at carrying out reconnaissance. Hmm. As for moi, I will send the Caronades! Who's the Caronids? Oh. Maybe petite, but they are fast on their feet. They're very well adapted for surface missions. While they're up there, they can take location to enjoy the fireworks as well. Very well. I'll inform Enoch of who we'll be sending. I'm worried. I just hope there aren't any unexpected surprises like last summer. Don't worry about that. Yeah, they could be like some monsters. As long as unlimited is up there, no one will end up getting stranded. I'll assign this mission to him. Thank you for your assistance. Him is me, the commander. <clears throat> when the counters are out on the routine inspection, they are called to the meeting room by Deputy Chief Anderson. Come in. You came faster than I expected. I'm sending you up to the surface on a mission. Yes, a hot spring has been discovered there. I want you to check it out and bring back any resources that you come across. The Ark is experiencing a dire resource shortage at the moment. Huh. <clears throat> and we need all the resources. Wait, that kid is still there? Alright. 
Okay, let's have a look then. We can get research purposes. The deployment date will be three days from now, on Christmas. This time, you won't be going alone. The Carronades, Absolute, and the Scouts will be coming with you. Carronades, Absolute, and the Scouts. Why is that? Is there something going on? They'll be away for a few days for some scheduled maintenance. Hmm. I see. Then I'll make a note that the counters will not be participating in this mission. Oh, counters are not going. The other Nikes <coughs> were sending you out with specialized and surface-based recon operations, so there's no need to be concerned. Once you've completed your mission, you're free to enjoy the hot springs before returning. Why not? I've got you all working during Christmas, so it's the least I can do. That's everything. You may leave. I have a meeting in five minutes. Meeting again? Every time meeting, uh, meeting. By the way. Uh oh. You've performed admirably this year. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, guys. Merry Christmas. Who's celebrating? Who's celebrating with me? I'm going to be streaming on Christmas. We're going to do a special Christmas unboxing. Special one. Debrief everyone else about the mission. <coughs> Who to get from Unlimited Pool? Helena? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Why you get Helena, man? Never get Helena. Helena sucks. Helena in 2023? No, no, no. no. Yeah, don't, don't think about it. Don't even think about it. Alright. Hmm. <laughs> this kid should be banned. Wait, why are you guys hating on the kid, man? Yo, it's just a kid. It's just a small little kid. Want attention. The, the mom didn't talk to him for three years. The dad didn't have time with him. So why can't you guys be nice to the kid? And be friends with the kid? You and the kid, best buddies. Imagine this kid could, could do a lot of things. Could write essays for you. Could do things for you. A hot spring in the snow. How romantic. I've only ever seen in TV shows. <laughs> why delete the comment? Yeah, why he delete his comment? Because the ghost did it. Come to think of it, this'll be my first time going to a hot spring. Wait, signal is from the absolute, is it? What 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 is this uh, the squad name again? I already feel all warm and fuzzy inside since it's Christmas time. This is huge telephone. Can't wait. She likes K-pop, by the way. She keeps talking about watching drama. Signal. Don't forget that this is still a mission. Delta Squad. I know. I'll be sure to finish up all my work before we head out. There's quite a bit of it, though, since it's the end of the year and all. I'll help you. You will? Thanks a bunch. I'll see you all when it's time to head out. See you then. <clears throat> So the other one is absolute. Yunhua, right? Weakling, you're still alive. Did, he, did she just call me weakling? I'm still alive. Yunhua? Where are your manners? Welcome, Commander. Hey, Commander. What brings you to the armory? You and I will be participating in a mission together. We will. What kind of mission? A, a mission with the Commander. I've died and gone to heaven. It's probably some boring fetch quest. A hot spring has been discovered. <coughs> they want us to go out and investigate. Hot you say? Ooh, I like the sound of that. So, once the mission is over, would we be able to enjoy the hot spring? Yep. Whoa! I certainly hope we can. This will be my first time at a hot spring. This is also exciting. I don't think I've been to a hot spring before. Have you guys been to a hot spring before? Hmm. He's dead by milk. Wait, what? <coughs> New Year countdown live stream? Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. For sure. I need to do the tier list for, for the Gacha games of 2023 actually. If we can take a soak in the hot spring, are you going to join us, Unwa? It'll help relieve all that stress and fatigue that's been building up. No. Why not? We can all have a nice soak together. Oh wait, it's not because of your boobs, is it? Oh, because of the boobs? In hostess daggers at Vesti. Say that again and see what happens. Alright, that's enough, you two. When do we leave, Commander? Three days. Karenates and Scouts will be joining us. Three days? 
That's Christmas Day. So we'll be going to a hot spring for Christmas? How nice! It's been a while since we had such a large crew heading out. Have you guys been to a hot spring before? How many of you guys have actually been to a hot spring before? There's no twin bunnies with me at that time. Nice. How okay, how hot is the hot spring? Is it like is it just warm? Because like there's a lot of uh, steam in the air. I assume it's very very hot. Sounds like it'll be fun. I wish Christmas would hurry up and get here already. <sighs> I can already tell you're never going to shut up about this. Weakling. Is that everything? All right. Then get lost. It'll be Damn. motor mouth driving me up the wall. Get lost. What was that? Sling out to the armory. Welcome, old timer. Yeah, it's old timer. You're the first customer we've had all week. Really? What so sad. You here? Did you come to buy toys? Why would I buy toys? I'm here to tell you on a mission we are going. Oh? Wait, but she's not coming though, right? Only Mika is coming. <laughs> Mika is decidedly more morose. Hmm? Oh, it's just... If at all possible, could the Karenades be excused from this mission? Oh, she doesn't want to go. Yo, why doesn't she want to go, man? Why is she causing drama? Huh. Certain parts are very hot. Got N on the first multi. Let's go, let's go. Hmm. Belota is in the art too. Adult toys can't be bought. I think you can. Speaking of adult toys, I recently got sponsored by a... You know what, my next video that I'm going to do later Feel free to watch it if you guys if you guys are interested. I'm not saying that there's going to be adult toys, but damn, there's going to be something that I got sponsored for. I'll probably put it in my next Nikkei video, which is the next one that I'm going to do. You forgot that Belota is March 7. March 7. Damn. March 7. But if your kids don't watch that video, alright? Just saying. with Christmas. Uh oh. Every year something bad happens. Well, one year Belorta sprained her ankle. That's not that bad. She also cut her hand on a broken dish, got burned from touching something hot. The list goes on. Every Christmas something awful happens to Belorta. Feel bad for Belorta? So we try not to go outside then. Huh. The bad things only happen to Belota. Yes, but when something happens to her, it's like I'm being hurt as well. I'm telling you, Mika. It's all in your head. So how about Belota don't go? Nuh-uh. Even just last year, something bad happened. What happened last Christmas? We went to the amusement park, and as we were getting off the merry-go-round, uh -oh. Belota fell and hurt her knee. It was quite bad. Originally, we were planning on having a quiet party in the toy store after we got back, but Belorta couldn't help herself and took off without warning. If she had only slowed down, she wouldn't have gotten hurt. Sounds like a curse. Got that right. So every year during Christmas, we try and lie low. Not only would we be going out, but to the surface? We're practically asking for trouble at that point. You never know. A lot of happy things could happen on Christmas this year. Well, that certainly hasn't been the case up until now. I say the unlucky streak is gonna continue. This year included. Mmm. Alright then. You stay at the toy store, Mika. I'll accompany Old Timer on the mission myself. B but I'm only saying this because I'm worried about you. Sure. I've been to the repair center every Christmas. But hmm. so what? It's not that big a deal. Oh yeah, they are Nikki's, right? So they just go to repair center instead of the doctor. I know, but how about this? I promise that I won't get hurt this Christmas. Besides, this is an official mission from our superiors. So it's not like we have a choice. Why is her tongue like that? <laughs> She's always showing her tongue, what the heck? Isn't that right, old timer? 
Stop it with the tongue. Technically, yes, a lot of other members will be joining us, so there won't be any problems. We'll have plenty of other people there to protect us. Don't forget that we've also been to the northern base many times before. Uh. I'll protect you. Really? I don't know. Oh, for goodness sake, Nika. Quit worrying about something that hasn't even happened yet. Okay, I can see that you're genuinely worried. So, I'll stop teasing you. You will? Nope, just kidding. Oh, come on! <laughs> Nothing gives me more pleasure than getting your goat. Anyway, do you think there'll be a lot of delicious food at the hot spring? Delicious food? Oh, Christmas can't come quick enough. One thing is for sure. This year, we're gonna have the best Christmas ever! <laughs> I hope so. Okay. Okay. Mika OG costume. Anako has pink Han Lawa toys. I'm oh, really? Scared, so long as Noir is here. Actually, I have no idea what a Han Niawa is. Nice. <coughs> I like how there's a destruct destructible objects like that house. If we just shut down. Core hit. Core hit, core hit. Uh, are you proud of me? A few days later, Christmas Day. All preparations for going up to the surface are complete. All that's left to do is wait for the Nikkei's to arrive. Siu Yan. Seriously, a hot spring on Christmas? I'm so jealous I can't even. Master, be sure to bring back some water from the hot spring. I hear it's very good for your skin. I don't want to go in for maintenance, I want to go to the hot spring. Have fun with that. <laughs> don't worry about us, you just be careful. Christmas day, I don't even get to see the commander. How depressing. I'll be back as fast as I can. Please do. Once you're back, we'll have a party of our own. Have a Merry Christmas, everyone. You too, Master. Merry Christmas. Man, it's so sad that Ionis don't go with us. Hello, Commander. The scouts reporting in. An absolute as well. Hey, Emma. Hey, Signal. I swear you get cuter every time I see you. Damn, lolly lover. That's not true. <laughs> Hello. Why is Inuha always so so uh, moody? You know. Wow, it's getting a little crowded in here. Welcome, everybody. Glad to see that Valorda and Mika made it on time. Hello! I'm good. We're good as well. Wouldn't you say so, Vesti? Oh yeah. I was so excited that I could barely sleep last night. In case you forgot, you dolt. This is a mission, not a play date. I know that. Still, it is Christmas. The scouts are ready to go! Hello, pit boss. Wait, they're coming as well? Sorry that we're late. Uh, of course Noah. Who cares about Blanc? Are Just kidding, man. <laughs> but why do I have to choose? We're here to Did join Mustang you. Not tell you. Oh my goodness, really? Well, I suppose the short version would be that some important props we were going to use for our Christmas show got damaged, so our performance got cancelled. That suddenly left us with a lot of time on our hands, so we were thinking about helping Rouge with her work. Rouge. But then Mustang came and... What did Mustang oh, do? No! Say it isn't so! My precious bunny's losing work during Christmas! C'est tragic! C'est tragic? There's not nearly enough time to prepare another show! But on the other hand, to spend the holidays doing nothing would be terribly boring. Hmm. Roach is huge. <gasps> voilà! Roach is coming out next year. <laughs> you can join everyone on the mission up to the surface. <laughs> you can lend a helping hand and also enjoy the hot spring. That is what we call killing two birds with one stone. 
The hot springs will do wonders for your skin. I've got to have my bunnies looking lovely for the next show. Okay, that's good. And that's how we ended up getting roped into joining this mission. Having said that, we're both really looking forward to it. Very much so. <laughs> Certainly sounds like something Mustang would do. When it comes to missions, the more the merrier. Hot spring, here we come! Oh, there must be a lot of snow piled up at the northern base, right? <laughs> sounds fun. So far, it's a simple enough mission. Simple enough for now. I like the sound of stepping on snow. Same here. Wait, they dress so like that. <laughs> they dress like that to the snow. Just look at all the snow on the ground. Talk about a white Christmas. So pretty. Here, old timer. Take this. This is your Christmas gift. A uh, snowball with a heart drawn on it. Thanks. Don't mention it. The entire world is bathed in white. I love it! Careful, Belorta! You might fall! You said you'd be careful around the snow! <laughs> Don't worry! I won't fall! I mean, even if you fall, it won't hurt, right? I mean, it's snow. I just realized that she's wearing a bikini down there. I always thought she's wearing like a pants, but no, she's like... Huh, very interesting. <clears throat> we'll be arriving at the northern base soon. Not a moment too soon. Oh, Belorta, there's a tree right in front of you. <sighs> there's a tree. Northern base. The area is surrounded by trees that are so dense it is impossible to see what lies beyond them. Definitely the right coordinates. Hold up. Does that mean this massive building is the hot spring? I thought it would be a small hot spring, but I was wrong. <clears throat> Sky tested Lumila as long as she consistently hitting the core, she's on par with Scarlet Omononia. Yeah, I know. Uh, she's better actually, but that's the thing. She won't be if. It depends on the enemy, so that's quite conditional though, right? It's definitely pretty big for a hot spring. Hmm. It looks a lot like the ones I've seen in TV shows. Should we knock first? The wooden door slowly Come creaks on. open. Even with snow all around you, this is a place where you can cozy up and get warm. Welcome to Snowfield Hot Spring. Dress in the snappy. Also, I sorry. Have you seen the new uh, snow break? There's a new snow break drama. I mean, not, I mean not drama. New snow break update. I haven't seen it yet. Maybe remind somebody. Remind me to watch it after this. Gives her the air of a manager. Greets us warmly. Okay. One dash three. One dash four. Um. As long as I have Blanc, I can be strong. Reloading as soon as I can. I'll take my chance. Cover me. Me. The villa is good if you don't have more than you. Most players, I think, have her. Uh, I could be wrong, but yeah, there could be some new players. New snow break. New snow break, I guess. She reminds me of Gulotine a little bit. With the conditions removed, right? Wow, you look so pretty, Ludmilla. Yeah, you look fantastic. Like a real owner of a hot spring. <laughs> you think so? Thank you. What's a lantern for? While we were renovating the place, I figured I ought to dress for the occasion. Now, hurry up and get in here, all of you. Whoa! Wow! Oh my goodness! The interior of Snowfield Hot Spring is just as impressive as the exterior. 
okay there are spaces for relaxing which is exactly what you ex expect to find in the traditional resort the perfect version of a hot spring both inside and out did you build this all on your own of course not that'd be impossible everyone in unlimited pitched in we also communicated with mighty tools and they gave us plenty of tips throughout the process oh lita and senti they went to see if there were any other hot springs nearby if you find another one are you going to turn it into something like this place you bet we are if things work out like we want them to this will be a place where people can relax therefore the more hot springs we find the better that's great sometimes when you're off on a mission a little bit of r r can do a world of good i think what you're doing is fantastic i think plenty of people would get a lot of use out of a hot spring like this i'm glad you all agree once we're done with our mission can we go for a soap of course you're free to enjoy them right now if you'd like it's perfectly okay with me before you go can i ask you something snowfield isn't quite complete yet so i'd really appreciate it if you could help me while you're out here there are still a lot of things around here that need to be organized and we're short-handed at the moment would that be all right with you servant Servant. It's good that you brought a lot of people with you. Do you have any spare clothes, perhaps? What I'm wearing right now isn't the most comfortable. Oh yeah, I was going to ask the same thing. Hmm. I do have some spare clothes, but I've only got three sets to go around. I thought only the counters were coming. I didn't count on this many people. I'm okay. I've got to haul all the comms equipment around anyway. I'm all good too. I'm not putting on a swimsuit. I'll have to pass as well. Swimsuit. It might get in the way of our mission. I'm fine with what I'm wearing as well. My only goal is to have a nice soak in the hot spring. Jeez, narrowing it down was easier than I thought it'd be. So what does that leave us with? Four people? Um, me too. I won't wear a swimsuit. You go ahead and take it, Mika. Huh? Me? No. No, I'm okay. You wear it, Valorta. I don't want to. I'm a business owner. I can't be wearing anything too salacious. You go ahead, Mika. Okay, Mika makes three. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Okay. While they head inside and change, would the rest of you like to have a nice cup of tea? I'll go get everything prepared. Mmm. The smell is intoxicating. <coughs> Does event give free synchro slots or do I have to spend my hard earned gems? Damn, hard earned sure gems. The tea is what's doing it, but it feels like my whole body is melting. This totally feels like I haven't checked the minigame. Does the minigame give mission. These clothes are absolutely gorgeous. Wow. A bit tight in the chest though. Really? It's a bit loose for me. Oh my gosh! You look positively adorable, Mika! Blanc and Noir look great, too! Very pretty. <laughs> Thanks, everyone! This is so embarrassing! You look like you could be working here, Mika! Don't say that! <laughs> What's so bad about that? Why don't you work for us here at the Hot Spring? You'll be compensated well for your work. W what Um, well... Oh, look at you, Mika! So lucky, getting job offers even while you're off on a mission? Are you planning on getting rid of your toy store then? Absolutely not! Uh oh will never give up the toy store! <laughs> Good, then you'll be awfully busy juggling two jobs at once. Uh, I'd feel better if you were wearing a swimsuit too. Nah, I'm perfectly comfortable with what I'm wearing now. Let's do it. Mini game sucks emo. Wait, really? The mini game is not that good. Get That's unfortunate. Okay. Uh, okay. I think it's hard to meet the expectation, right, of all the previous mini games. Like the previous one was so good. How, how do you match that every single event? I doubt you can. The previous two, at least. Mika looked taller than Belota. She does. 
She does look taller. Okay, let's see. You want that Lumila got Scarlet on Pilgrim Mall? Coming. Phew. Filling the water up to here should be enough, don't you think? I think that's enough. I'm detecting something underground, Delta. Can you confirm what it is? Preparing the bunker buster now. Uh, do you really think that's necessary? Resources such as rocks and minerals that we could bring back to the Ark. I see something shiny here. Oh, it looks like a gem. I don't know. It looks more like a mineral to me. Should we take this with us as well, Commander? Got it. I'll check if there are other minerals around. Hey, I think it'd be a good idea to take some soil samples as well. There might be a lot of microorganisms in the soil around the hot spring. What? It could be immensely helpful for research. Okay. Okay. Is that all you have to say? <sighs> hey, old timer. Give me your hand for a second. Snowball with hearts drawn on it. <clears throat> Red liquid smear on top of the heart. It's a gift for you. Hmm? What was that? I couldn't hear you. There's plenty of snow to go around. So I'll make you another one later. Bestie, close your eyes and give me your hand. What are you gonna do to me? I'm gonna give you a gift. Rang. Oh my gosh, old timer, your hand. You better wash that liquid off it. And quickly, that's hot sauce. So your hand might end up stinging. Uh oh. Because Valorta has pulled this prank on me before. It's a prank? She's recently incorporated hot sauce into her bag of tricks. Okay, that's gonna be unfortunate. Uh, one more thing. I've seen quite a few caterpillars near the hot springs. Do you think we should take some with us? Caterpillars? We'll do. Yeah. <laughs> I'm having the time of my life out here. Uh, Emma, Valorda put something on my hand. Huh, Mika stares at her. Nothing bad has really happened yet, so I guess everything's okay. <laughs> Needs correction. Something has got me feeling uneasy. I just want Christmas to be over with. I'm sorry, old timer. I know I've been a negative Nancy the past few days. <laughs> Thanks for understanding. Mika, can you help me with this? Oh, sure. By the way, servant. If you contact Anderson later, it might be a good idea to tell him that we've encountered more minerals than anticipated. Huh. Delta, I'm picking up another signal. Coming. Signal oh, indicates. Sir. This one's a new color altogether. That's how it's been since we got here. We're always turning up new minerals. So they're trying to obtain minerals for what again? Just to do research? I'm guessing. Mr. Anderson, do you make it to the hot springs? We did and we're proceeding with the mission. How are things progressing? There are no issues with the hot springs and we have found lots of minerals and other precious rocks. We are also planning on taking some soil samples which could home to plenty of microorganisms. Those will be a boon to our research. Things are going better than I expected. Once you have done on your preliminary investigation, you can enjoy a few days of R&R. &R. Be careful handling those samples, we we'll need them fully intact for our research. Enjoy your time out there. Already found enough resources to satisfy the higher ups. Woohoo! Vacation time already? I feel like we barely had to do any work. I knew Anderson would have enough good sense to let us have a bit of fun. With as many people as we've brought, I'm not surprised we completed our work so soon. At any rate, you best bet I'm going to hit the hot spring every moment I can. Me too. It seems I have little choice in the matter. Now it's starting to really feel like Christmas. Nikki all feeling elated at the thought of enjoying their vacation. Hey, old timer! You want to taste something delicious? I don't want it. Aww, come on. I spent a lot of time Something is suspicious here. Ta-da! It's some shaved ice I made using snowballs. Red sauce. Of course not. It's strawberry 
syrup. Hurry up and try some before it melts. It's super sweet and refreshing. Winter doesn't exactly seem like a great time for shave ice. Are you not going to try it? I worked so hard on it. Belota stares at me with tears welling in her eyes. Damn. The red liquid on top of the ice was hot sauce. Got you again. You fall for it every time. That's why you're my favorite. If you're mad, try and catch me. If you catch me, I'll eat some too. Nice prank. You better hope I don't catch you. <laughs> She's just a kid. I thought she's a business owner. I can't let her drag me down to her level. Uh-oh. Belorta, are you okay? I told you to be careful. It's okay. I just took a little tumble, that's all. I don't even have an injury. See? Are you sure? Honestly, I'm fine. Look. Oh, thank goodness. If you'd hit your head, it could have been really bad. But I didn't, and my head's just fine. Yes, but... Mika, you worry too much. I'm glad you're okay. Falling down is part of being a kid. You mustn't worry so much, Mika. We've got a medical center on site. Wow, this place really does have everything. Medical center who will be in charge, Tof? Now, I know it's been a while since you all had a proper vacation, so that's enough work for now. It's officially vacation time. Huh. Chasing kids. Wait, so they didn't show the hot spring thing. They didn't show the thing. I thought they were supposed to show this particular one. So this is going to be our... Uh, this is what we're going to get, right? Okay. Very, very interesting. Like listening to March 7. Yeah, is it the same voice? It is, right? It is the same voice. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's claim all of this. Can I do the mini game? Advice Nikkei. Okay, we'll definitely do that. I'll show you the way. Is the mini game open? Another bright and clear morning. Streaks of sunlight streaming through the windows. There's also. What should I do? A clamorous commotion outside. There are five Nikkei standing in the group. We didn't wake you up. Do you sleep well? Do you just wake up? Huh. Look me lie as well. Found something pretty interesting while we were cleaning the hot spring. Okay, what is it? Two old beaten up books. Not really sure, but they appear to contain legends about Snowfield Hot Spring. Legends! Alright. Crack open the cover on the first book. Scroll on the pages are distorted words that have clearly been written with great effort. <coughs> if you succeed in skipping stone eight times at the bridge in front of the waterfall, your wish will come true. Luck comes when enter the hot spring. If you hang a note with a wish on the bamboo tree, when the sun sets, sun sets, your wish will come true. Open the second book, Inner Legend. If you make food and bring it to the waterfall, you will see a secret. Rooms in the dormitory, if you near the walking trail, will be reflected. If you experience all the legends, then you will. So we have to find the missing pieces. This were written down by a human from the past, so we were discussing how, how while we are spending time here, we could look into discovering the secret behind the legends written in those pages. It would be a crime for us to be left out of anything where luck plays a factor. Huh. What exactly does it mean by outer and inner legend? Seven legends divided amongst two books, omitted words and phrases that titillate and arouse one's curiosity. Okay. 
Okay, how do I do this? This is the commander's private space. Go out to play the game. Go out. The game contains 6 locations. Nikkei will appear. One, when you go to the location where Nikkei appears, the scenario event will begin. The minigame time operates differently from the real world and follows a specific schedule. The minigame will last for 21 days. A day in the minigame is made out of morning, afternoon, and evening. Okay. So I go to Waterfall. When you go into a location, a scenario will begin. Options will appear in the scenario. Gain bond with the Nikkei based on your choices. Some events will consume hard clocks. An icon will indicate whether or not the specific event will consume hard clocks. Time in the minigame will elapse when you use hard clocks. Okay, consume 3 hard clocks every day to obtain the daily reward. Daily reward can be obtained once a day. Okay. 3 times a day. I quit Nikkei cause I got nothing from Ludmilla banner. Damn! Quitter! Quitter! Okay, I wasn't doing much in the dormitory so I decided to come out for a walk and get some fresh air. As I work my way through Snowfield Hot Spring, I can feel, hear the faint sound of water splashing. How many pulls do you do though? Huh. How many pulls? Don't tell me you do 10 pulls. You do 10 pulls and you got nothing and now you quit. I'll be surprised if you do more than 100. It's not working. Focus and do it again. Throwing stones. Talk to Mika minus one. What are you doing? Just skipping stones. One of the legends. There's one that says if you succeed in skipping a stone eight times at the bridge in front of the waterfall, your wish will come true. Beats me whether it's true, but it sounded fun to try. And I do have a wish that I'd like it to be a reality. Okay. These stones aren't exactly buoyan. Way tougher than I thought it would be. It's always difficult when you try something for the first time. I'm sure you'll get better if you keep at it. Just keep at it. Where were you headed? Okay. I went for a little jaunt around Snowfield yesterday and it was great. Should try the walking tray beside the waterfall. Okay. All right. Huh. Serene snowy trails regenerates. Okay. What song is that? He's been at it for two hours. It's been two hours. I thought it'd been 30 minutes max. I've gotten them to start skipping. I've still got ways to go until I get up to 8. Picks up the stone on the ground. 1, 2, 3. She flings it hard. So it's all about skipping the stone eight times. Falls directly into the water without uh, even a single skip. Need more practice. So this is what she, she has hobby in. Skipping the stones. Okay, so I unlock new story. When certain requirements met, connection events with some Nikkei's will occur. Distinguish through the heart icon in the snowfield hot spring. Huh. You can increase the connection level with each Nikkei by completing connection events. So you gotta reach level 2 and certain other bonds, extra bonds. Bond can be obtained through scenario events. Okay, there's one for Emma there. Ah, so you just need to do this three times. Basically, you are reading the story three times.
You can pause and end game at any time. Save your current progress. Ah. So you're supposed to build their bond with them. And then there's special and there's photo. Alright, it's pretty cool, I guess. It's very, very different. Huh? It's very, very different. 50 plus pulls. Huh. You got yellow. Uh, my 80 plus pool not yellow at all. I just uh got Heron and Lumila in 50 pools. I can now save for Mika. Yeah. Oh, I need to go and... Yeah, uh, I, 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 I think I formulate my thoughts on the video. So I should be able to do it now. Just gotta think on how to edit it properly. But Lumila might be worth. But I wouldn't go multiple copies for sure. Let's claim this for now. Wait, is that a separate one? So that one is that. This one is here. The best boss to test is Blacksmith. That's a thing. But yeah, uh, everything else is going to be tough to try to, to perform the testing. Uh, Alright guys, I am going to end the stream. I'll see you guys again shortly on the second stream later on. For Reverse 1999, I'll need to edit this video and I got a sponsored uh, video coming out. So if you guys are interested, you can watch the, the video that I'm going to do for Nikkei. They will feature this sponsored product. Snow break, yeah, I, I think I'll, I'll watch it later. I need to shower first before I, I do all the stuff. Uh, but yeah, can you remind me? You know what, I'll, I'm going to write it down. Snow. I will write it down here for the time being. Sponsored pork. Yeah, it's more for people that are interested in the product. But I guess some people will be interested in that product. New codes available. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see later on. Alright, take care.